Hi, welcome to another daily devotion. Today we're going to uh, speak on verse 5 of Psalm 23, and it reads, <clears throat> You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. And so this morning I want to have a look at uh, what does it mean you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies? Uh, you know, I think we need to look at a few things. See, number one, uh, the word enemies is brought up here. So in other words, uh, you know, in, in context to Psalm 23, uh, the psalmist obviously speaking uh, from a position of persecution. And, and so there are a lot of things that we can uh, glean out of this this morning. And so firstly, it says that you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. And so the Lord actually prepares. In other words, he had in mind, uh, you know, and the idea is that he was serving. He was giving us things that we, he knew that we needed. And so there was preparation, there was thought put into in advance as to what uh, our shepherd believed that we needed. And so keep that in mind. It says that he prepared a table. Now, I believe that the table uh, that is mentioned here in the biblical times was like a, a leather mat or a mat that was laid down on the ground and that people would sit on the ground to eat. It may possibly be a four-legged table of, of what we understand today, but I do believe it was um, a table that they considered a table that was laying flat on the ground. But it says, you prepare a table before me. Uh, this to me really just stands out that it wasn't like the Lord had prepared a table for me so that later when I do come that it's already prepared for me. No, it says here that the Lord prepared, intentionally prepared the table before me, in front of me, in my presence as I watched on. And this is remarkable. And not only that, it goes on to say, in the presence of my enemies. So I believe, I strongly believe, that this is speaking about the favor of God on your life and on my life in the midst of persecution. And I do also strongly believe that this here is a byproduct of a result of a person that has allowed the Lord to be their shepherd and has allowed them... Uh, that followed that they have laid down in green pastures, that they've allowed the shepherd to you know, lead them to still waters, that they've allowed the shepherd to restore their soul, and they allowed the shepherd to lead us on the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. You know, these are all the things that the process of, of restoration, that there we see that the person whom the Lord is preparing a table before them in the presence of their enemy are not fighting their enemies. They're trusting in their shepherd. They're not responding to accusations. They're not responding to anything like that at all. And so they are totally reliant upon the provision and the protection of their shepherd. And there we see that it's that the Lord prepares a table before you, before me, in the presence, on looking, enemies watching on. And to me, it's very similar to we see in, uh, in Scripture where Aaron's rod had budded, that the other uh, elders, they just didn't think Aaron was worth two bob. But uh, the contest came when they, all their names were written on their own rods and they were th put, in, put in a pile. And the next day, the rod that budded, we see, was Aaron's. And there we see that it was the favor of God uh, upon his life. And so the reality is, folks, that... If the favor of God is on your life, which I believe it is, why then do we feel that we've got to defend ourselves and to fight back? We don't do that. We allow the shepherd to take care of those things, that we're not going to sell our peace and our joy and give it away to the enemies. No, we trust in our shepherd. Allow him to lead us through the valley of the shadow of death and bring us to the place that we fear no more evil, no more threats of what man may say or want to do to us. Because we know that we are in good hands when we are with our shepherd. And so, you know, what a, a, an amazing thing where God will, is justifying uh, his people when he prepares, intentionally sets in order a table right before you 
as the enemies are watching on. So they may see that the favor of God is on your life. And I find that such an incredible passage of scripture. Anyway, join me tomorrow. We'll continue along these lines. Until then, be blessed and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.